Here's the first weird thing for anyone who's never played New Leaf. This is the opening menu in pretty much every older Animal Crossing game. It looks like this. Uh, Isabel's here. Hi. <laughs> in Nook Tits, it's Monday, January 29th, 2024, and the current time is 9.04 a.m. Not in real life, I learned how to time travel. But um, yeah, so this is basically how you log in. You can do I need help first if you wanna like configure some settings, but we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna get right into it, baby. Okay, all set. Ah, that reminds me. Mayor Viss, I haven't had a chance to explain what your work as mayor entails, correct? Which is crazy, considering that I'm already the mayor. I have no idea what I'm actually supposed to be doing. <laughs> when you find a moment, please come to the town hall and be sure to sit in the chair in the back. All right, that's basically the main thing that we gotta do today, but um, Here's my house, and here's Pete. Speaking of the pelicans from the last video. Ah, hello there, Mayor. I got a delivery for you. I already put it in your mailbox. Uh, yeah, so in older Animal Crossing games, there actually used to be a person who would deliver your letters to you. They got rid of him in New Horizons, so I wonder who actually does the mail carrying in New Horizons now that I think about it. I guess we could check out our mail, though. Ooh, we got some letters. The first one is from Jitters. Who's speaking of, he's back there. That's creepy. Uh, what did he send me? Hey, this dude, I'm having a party on February 2nd and you just have to come. It won't be a real party without my greatest rival. So be there. I forgot that in the older games, they used to like actually invite you to their birthday party instead of just posting it on the bulletin board. Interesting. And then next up, we have a letter from an unknown sender. Hmm. To this, congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to become the mayor, but one thing led to another, and now it's all up to you. I'm rooting for you. Keep it a secret. Yeah, TLDR, uh, I'm like 90% sure that letter is from Rover. It's never confirmed, but at least you know now that somebody what? <laughs> oh shit, okay. Wait, we'll, we'll come back to that. Somebody was supposed to be your mayor. Wait, oh God, I gotta jot all this down for the B-roll. Yeah, um, hi. So this is what the plots used to look like in New Leaf when a villager would move on to your island. Uh, this is our sixth villager. As you can see, I have completely no say who it is and we might as not we might as well not waste any time let's figure out who it is the sixth villager moving in is julian <gasps> oh okay i had a feeling it was going to be a smug and of all the smug villagers at least it wasn't that hashtag that villager i will gladly accept that him moving right in front of my retail though once again Interesting. Across the pond from me though. I'll accept that. I will accept that. Okay, Julian. Julian's a good villager to get, so I'll take that. I'm happy. Yeah, like Isabel said, uh, the thing that we need to do right now is go and talk to her. Uh, yeah, we'll just go straight there because, you know, um, we might as well just progress with the game. So let's do that, which speaking of, we're already here. So hooray. On day two, when you actually become mayor, Isabel will just stare at you, but this gate over here is officially open, which means we can come inside and actually sit in the back office because we work for the government. Oh, Mayor Viss, have you settled in and finished unpacking? Um, I didn't come with anything to the town, so I'm gonna say yes. Oh, wow. Really? You must really be efficient when it comes to moving. My bedroom is completely full of unpacked cardboard boxes, and it feels like I moved so long ago. Sorry, please don't tell my brother. I don't let him into my room just for this reason. Not Isabel exposing herself. Um, she might be the protagonist from unpacking. Maybe. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, pff, I thought that said amen. And I was like, wait, what? No, ahem. Right. I was going to tell you about the town hall. Okay, so for starters, the area where I usually stand is the service counter. It's the hub for all Nook Tits info. At the service counter, I also take requests to change the town tune or flag design. Oh yeah, and I can also provide information about citizen satisfaction, aka the star rating. 
um, but it wasn't called the star rating until New Horizons. And of course, I always welcome direct input from our great mayor. However, to get advice or provide input, you'll need to stand at the counter just like everybody else. I can't go bending the rules just because you're the mayor after all. That mindset is correct, Isabel. I respect you for that. Now then, moving on to your responsibilities as mayo. I am mayonnaise. Ah, I almost forgot. Before you can start laying out your vision for Nook Tits, you'll need a town development permit. Getting the permit takes a bit of work, but don't worry, I'll help you out. That's what I'm here for. You sound pretty busy, girl, I'm not gonna lie. Me? Busy? Don't worry about it. I got a whole hour of sleep last night, so I'm just raring to go. She is so Leslie nope coated, it's not even funny. Well, look, your mayoral instincts must be really good because you're already sitting in the mayor's chair. When you want to work on official mayor business, just sit in that chair and I'll help you out. And come see me when I'm not overly busy so we can get started on your town development permit. So now we have gotten out of the chair, but um, in order to progress the game, we have to sit back in the chair. <laughs> Hi, Mayor Viss. Let me guess, you'd like to start on your application for your town development permit. Well then, let me explain the prerequisites for the permit. The first requirement is that you own a house in town. This is why you have to pay off your house loan right away. Since you already own a house, you're all set there. Okay, the second requirement for the town development permit is to gain the approval of the citizens. In order to gauge citizen approval, I'll regularly survey the townsfolk to see what they think of you. The best way to the best way to raise your approval rating is to improve the town and the lives of those who live here. Now, according to a preliminary survey, your current approval rating is 15%. Um, yeah, so that's basically one out of the five residents currently likes me. And not even 100% of the way. They only like me like 95%. Okay. The law requires that all applicants have a 100% approval rating. Yeah. So basically, all five of my villagers have to like me. And this also, I guess, includes like all the shop owners and stuff and Tom Nook and everything. Yep. So that's the mission of the day. We have to get to 100% town approval rating if we want to uh, actually be mayor. So that's that. Um, hi, did you need something? I know it's silly, but if you want to talk about nook tits, you'll need to talk to me over at the counter. Or if you want to flex your marrow muscle, you can sit in the mayor's chair. Um, is it worth talking to her over here? Let's just see. Uh, ooh, we could change the town tune and the town flag right away. I guess that helps out with points. We could do that. Actually, I don't know what I want to do for the thing. Um... Sure. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, sure. I guess we could do that. And town flag. I have custom designs. Oh my god. For anyone who's only played New Horizons, you're about to gag at the number of custom designs you get in this game. I am about to expose it right now. That's it. You only get 10. 10. So do with that information what you will. Uh, I always give the rose flag, but honestly, I'm kind of in the mood to do the stag beetle one instead. That'll be fun. Wow, it's perfect. It really captures the spirit of Nook Tits. Yeah, the bugs just like Tom Nook. We'll use this design as our new town flag. Thank you for your excellent submission. You're welcome, girl. All right, so the main goal of the day, like I said, is to do the town approval rating. And we actually have to head to Main Street as well because, you know, I have a house now, so we have to talk to Tom. No oh, oh my God, finally, this is happening. Hello, can you hear me? If you can, follow my voice. Oh, finally, I forgot it happens on day two. All right. Let's see. Ah, no, no, over here, sorry. So, hmm. Oh, yes, that's right, this way. Sorry to bother you like this. Hello? I was already headed in that direction. Wait, is this right? Wait, not that way, I'm over here. Sorry, I know it's confusing. <laughs> Bitch, where? 
What? Yes, you're on the right track. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oop. What is this, honey? Oh, thank goodness. Well, hello. As you can see, I'm a lamp. I mean, I'm inside a lamp. Rather important distinction. Anyway, I feel a bit awkward asking for another favor, but would you mind rescuing me? That's right. Just pick up the lamp and take it somewhere quiet, like your house, for example. Um, sure, I guess. Okay, so in day... On day one, I said, you know, about Harv's campsite and, like, the ability to scan Amiibo in New Leaf, which was introduced in the update. And now that the lamp has finally spawned, we're going to figure out how to do exactly that. Sorry for the spoiler, but let's just head in and figure it out. Oh, oh, right. Okay, this is my house now. Ooh, sorry to intrude, Mayor. And um, Isabel is once again barging into my house without my permission. I'll accept it though, because she's a baddie. I see your house is all finished. Congratulations. The lumber smell of a new house is so nice, isn't it? So true. Isabel likes wood confirmed. That reminds me, I brought over some wallpaper to celebrate your new home. Here you go. This is basically the tutorial on how to put wallpaper and flooring on your walls. So, um, once again, it's pretty much like how it was in New, Le or new Horizons. Isabel, thank you for your conversations. You're welcome. Now, what's the wallpaper? It's the paw print. Yeah, the paw print wallpaper is actually such a cute wallpaper. Look at that. <laughs> It literally, like, it just looks like Isabel herself made it. Like, she just ran around. Like, she, like, stepped on some paint and just ran around the entire wallpaper. I love that. Like, Isabel, Isabel is camp. Also, my pockets are currently full. I need to figure this out. Let's put this... No, I'm, uh, I don't have any storage at the moment. Ooh, I should have bought that wardrobe from yesterday. All right, let's first figure out the magic lamp situation. Let's just click on it. Getting things ready. Whis, the lamp spirit, remember? Hello? Oh, wait, hold on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> wait, we have an issue. We have an issue. I think it's because my house is too crowded. Okay. Wait, I think it's because Isabel came into my house. Hold on. I just Googled it. It says because Isabel came into my house. So if I just leave and come back, it should work. That's awkward. <laughs> That's very awkward. Hold on. Will you work now? Please tell me you'll work now. There we go. Oh my God. Look at Mr. Wisp in this game. Ta-da. So you summoned me, but I don't believe we've met. I am Wisp. The Lamp Spirit, nice to meet you. So, should we grant some wishes or what? Let's get into it. Wait, why am I all see-through like this? What's happening? Ah, I know, just the thing. If you have an amiibo, I could use it to sort of possess another person. It's not as awkward as it sounds. So, um, will it, will it let me do this? Hold on, how do I figure this out? Okay, so I couldn't get the amiibo thing to work because, um, again, using an emulator. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, but if you are curious, yes, that's how it works. What did I get rid of? Oh my gosh. I got rid of so much shit to do that. Uh, whatever. Okay. That was awkward. So I was just gonna like spend the day doing some grinding and whatnot. Ooh, ooh, here's another fun thing we could talk about. Look at this. Look at this ugly little thing right here. That's a weed. That's the weeds in this game. And you just pick them up and they disappear forever. They weren't an actual item until New Horizons fun fact. So that's that. That's why a lot of players hate weeds despite them looking cute. Is there something on the bulletin board? Yes, I'm assuming it's Jitters' birthday. Oh no, it's my announcement now that I'm town mayor. Ooh, thank you. And Jitters on the other hand gets no announcement for his birthday. Yeah, so they they only just send you a letter. I think this is the ore rock. No, ooh, I guess we should find the money rock first just so we can get some bells or, I don't know why I'm like so confused. You know what, let's just head up to Blathers real quick cause I gotta clear out my pockets. So we might as well do some donating because donating helps with your town approval rating thing. So Nook's Homes is closed. Right, Nook's Homes closed. <laughs> oh my God, I, I did time travel to 9 a.m. I should have time traveled to 10 cause that's when everything opens up in the game. Right, right, right. Oh well, oh well. 
Let's actually talk to Blathers today. Ooh. All right, we're gonna first assess fossils. I think I only have one at the moment. Um, We'll just give that to him real quick. He's gonna assess it for us. And it's some amber. Ooh, I love amber. That's one of my favorite fossils. So he's gonna ask you if you wanna donate it. I think in New Horizons, he just gives it back to you and be like, oh yeah, maybe you should donate it. But in this game, he just asks you straight up if you only give him one item. So gonna donate it. Hooray, the first donation immediately. We're also gonna donate some critters. I think you could donate more than one, right? Yes. This was the first game, I think, that introduced that mechanic. In older games, you had to do everything one by one, which was so annoying. Hooray! Just like that, we've donated some more things to Blathers. These were basically everything that I caught yesterday. Um, I was going to sell them for some coin, but, you know, again, I think progressing the town approval rating is more important so i'd rather do that yeah able sisters is close too oh my god why did i time travel to 9 a.m i should have just played at like 10. it's currently 5 p.m again and like yesterday was playing at 5 p.m so like i didn't want to do that two days in a row just because i want to show off like different times of the day during animal crossing um just because like yeah you know the vibes of the game in general very fun like right now it's 9 a.m so I'm sure y'all are hearing the 9 a.m. music that's playing in the background. I don't mind the 9 a.m. music as much. It's pretty cute. I use it in my videos. That's the other thing. Like, I'm trying to show off times that, like, you know, I actually, like, the music. <laughs> How do I say this? The music that plays during specific times I use in my videos. So I'm trying to, like, play the game during those times. You know, like, yesterday we played at 5 p.m. and 4 p.m. I always play. I always have that music. This is the Money Rock. Let me shut up real quick. Okay, and like also there's like 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 p.m. I don't think I'm gonna do 10 p.m. anytime soon just cause that's quite late. <gasps> Ooh, I see a villager. Hold on, oh, my pockets are full. So we have 24,000, uh, very helpful in the near future. Good evening. Wait a second, it's not even evening at all. Let's try that again, good morning. Anyway, did you need something? Hey, I wanna show you something. Ready, check this out. Um, what do you think? How does this outfit look on me? I can't even see what he's wearing, but I'm, I, I'm gonna just say it looks, it looks great, buddy. I'm sure whatever you're wearing looks amazing. Yay, I'm so glad you think so. Maybe I'll keep this on while shopping. Oh wait, since you just moved here, you probably don't have a lot of stuff, huh? Well, here, take this as a moving present for me, chow down. Is he gonna give me the shirt that he was wearing? It's a deep blue tee, ooh. A blue t-shirt. Thank you, Eric, for that. Oh yeah, this was also the game that introduced like different types of clothes. Oh. That was an outfit, let's just say that. Yeah, this was the game that introduced like different types of clothing for the first time. Like, I think in previous games, your character was only able to wear t-shirts. Whereas like in this game, um, I'm currently wearing a long sleeve shirt, and if I put this on, it's a t-shirt. Bam! So, like, there's, like, different sleeve lengths, different things, like tank tops and stuff. I think, like, dresses and skirts as well. We're first introduced pants. Pants. This was the first game where pants were available. And shoe. I think shoes as well. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. This is Red's tent. We'll talk to him later because he's currently closed. We need to first find all our fossils and our ore. There she is. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, let's do fossils first. Um, here's another one right here. I think like in New Horizons, only four spawn per day and then one spawns each day if you don't dig them all up. Like I didn't dig up any fossils yesterday, so. There should be five of them lying around. I've seen a few of them, so we'll just quickly dig these up and do that. And then I'm just gonna assess them. Um, and go on from there. I'm gonna shut up now. Ooh, I just dug up a pitfall seed. Yeah, in this game, pitfall seeds also used to just randomly spawn in your town. And pro tip I learned is if you just have one buried anywhere, um, they won't continue spawning. 
So if you're not looking to collect them, that's a good idea. I am just going to keep it for now. Why don't we? Okie dokie. Donated some fossils and sold everything that was in my pockets. So they're a lot less empty. Um, wait. What do I still have in here? Oh, I could have sold those. Okay. <laughs> wait, let me just quickly clear up my pockets and go from there. Actually, you know what we'll do real quick? There was that little closet item in the game in retail. I'm going to buy that because that's how you access your storage in this game and in older Animal Crossing games. Count how many times I say in older Animal Crossing games in this video. So this right here is a clothes closet. Yes. I'm going to buy that. I just hit 30K. Now I'm under that. Also, there is an oil barrel back here. Oh, the oil barrel. It belongs to Jitters and he's selling it for 400 bells. Um. So we haven't actually seen the inside of Jitter's house yet, but uh, that was an actual furniture item that was in his house. He just, you know, got rid of it for no reason. That was one of the weird things in, re or in New Leaf with retail was that villagers would put up like actual items from their house. So like you will go to their house one day and they'll have a bunch of items. And then like the next day you'll go and items are just missing because they're on sale at retail. Weird, weird, weird thing. And also because there wasn't like, you know, house customization in this game. Which one's the clothes closet? That's the lantern. Let's just display that. And I'll put the lantern back here. Um, yeah, the, the it was weird. Okay. <laughs> this is their storage in this game. You have to access it through actual closets. Let's not use that cursor. Um, we can put items away. Uh, so let's just put items away like so. Q. And you get six, you saw how that looked. That's how it looks. Um, that's really all there is to know about it right now. Uh, you are able to upgrade your storage later on. Thanks to the Welcome Amiibo update, you get like actual built-in storage. Similar to how it is in New Horizons, um, you're able to upgrade it after you fully upgrade your house, I think. I think. But speaking of jitters, let's just talk to him real quick because we haven't done that yet. Well, if it ain't, well, well, if it ain't this, it's a good day to get the blood plump in so early in the day, bzzzert. So, what's up, bro? So, where did you build your house? Um, where, like, you can see my house from here. What do you mean? I'm just gonna say nearby. Oh, not far, huh? Yeah, I can feel the, I can feel the power of awesomeness nearby. Since you seem to be meeting folks and figuring out the lay of the land, why not write a few letters? You know, despite what you might think, I actually like getting letters. <laughs> I can tell you're getting an itch to write, aren't you? Um, okay, thank you for the tutorial, Jitters. <laughs> Isabella already told all this, but sure. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> this game is very open-ended, if it's not obvious. I'm like, what should I do now? Let's talk to the snowman real quick. Let's see if we can get... Our second bingo thing rolling. Please give me a five, a 14, or a 26. Please let it be one of those. A four and a seven. No, it's a two, three, four, five, seven. It's gonna be six. Oh, I actually have a four and six. Okay. Um, I'll take that. Sure. <laughs> like, that's fine, I guess, but. Um, oh, he said it right there. Yeah, you could build more than one of him and speed along your bingo process. I don't think I'm going to do that. But yeah, I did some dailies and stuff and just like watered a bunch of flowers, picked up a bunch of weeds. I guess a good idea for now would be to see how... That helped our progress with the town approval rating. If you'd like to know how much progress you made? Give me the number, baby. I skipped right through it. <laughs> Wait, what did she say? Why did I press B so much? Ah, 35%. Okay, that's not bad. It went up by 20%. Okay. That's good. That's good. I have the IGN guide loaded up right here. So upgrading your house is a good thing. Donating things to the museum is good. Watering flowers. Writing on the bulletin board. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah, that's one of the things I haven't done yet. Writing on the bulletin board and doing favors for your villagers. None of my favor none of my villagers have asked for favors yet, but we can write on the bulletin board. It only gives you 3%, but any little amount of percent will help in the long run. So let us go do that real quick. 
I think also because it's still so early in the game, if I'm not mistaken, Butch is still asleep, right? Yeah. Butch won't wake up until 10. And I think sisterly villagers don't wake up until like even later than that. So that's funny. Um, What should I write? I'm just going to write... Yeah, I'll go with that. Is Gladys home? Oh, Gladys is home. Okay, we'll go stop by Gladys's house and see if she has anything she'd like to tell us. Hello, Gladys. Oh my God, we're at her house for the first time. Ooh, what a cute place. Well, well, if it isn't this. Thanks for coming to visit me this morning, Stretch. So, what's on your mind? Oh, silly me. I forgot to check the bulletin board. Have you checked the bulletin board in front of the frame? <laughs> Um, yeah, I have, girl. Don't worry. Okay, yeah. Um, the first few days of the game, when you talk to your villagers, they're very much in, like, tutorial mode for the most part. Uh, would you mind taking a picture of us? No, thank you. <laughs> I have no idea if that even works in this game, so I'm not going to test that. But, um... Do you have anything else you'd like to say? I have a terrible, scary, true story to tell you. Not long ago, I was so tired that I accidentally fell asleep without saving. Yeah, um, that's a thing that you had to do in older games. Uh, New Horizon stands, y'all can't relate because auto-saving is now a feature in the game. All right, I time traveled later, so hopefully everybody's awake and running around now. Yes, Miss Monique is out here serving. What's up, buddy? It's been pleasant today, hasn't it? Pfft. So, what did you want, Vis? Vis, have you ever heard of feng shui? It's the ancient art of interior decorating. Okay, that's a simple way to put it, but basically it helps you arrange your home in an optimal way. For example, yellow objects should also be in- Okay, yes. <laughs> tutorial! Tutorial! Um, yeah, that helps you with your Happy Home Academy score for anybody curious. Um... Where are my damn villagers? None of them want to give me requests. This is always one of the things that like pisses me off in the game. Cause once I learned that like doing requests for your villagers helps out with your score, none of them ever want to ping me down and be like, hey, can you help me out with the thing? Like Butch, Butch, seriously, you don't want to like say anything to me? You don't need my help for anything? I'm pretty reliable. Why don't you help me? Why don't you let me help you, sir? Hey, hey, this. Sorry to add, oh. Oh, never mind, Butch. I never said a bad thing about you. I never said anything wrong about you. If you ever heard me bad mouthing Butch in the past, I never did that. I was lying. Sorry to ask for this, but could you maybe head out and bring me an apple? It's a fruit. Oh, thank you for telling me that. I totally had no idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty easy task. Um, I sold all my fruit yesterday, though. Ooh. I, I, yeah, yeah, I have, uh-oh, <laughs> I have to find him an apple. Oh my God, I finally get a task from a villager to get something and it's something that I have. Oh wait, nope, nope. Okay, false alarm. We don't have to panic. There's some apples right over here. Oh, actually wait for another fun feature for anybody who's watching this. I won't include this in the actual video. I want to show you something really funny. If, because in this game, things don't auto stack and things don't also auto unstack. So watch what, watch what happens if I come up to Bruce and I give him a stack of fruit by accident. Look at this. You give him the entire basket, first of all. Hey now, I don't need this much. Some of the villagers like overreact. They'll be like, what is going on? I only want one. But like, yeah, that is so funny. So funny to me. I don't know why. All right. Nope. Come back here, sir. Yeah, that smells great. Yummy, 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 yummy. He just munches down on that shit like nothing. All right, then. Please take my cuckoo clock. Ooh, he's giving me an actual furniture item. Why, thank you, kind sir. That's very kind of you. Okie dokie. So we did one request. Um, Let's see if any other villagers have anything. Monique, would you like my help for... Anything, Miss Ma'am? Please tell me you do. Have you ever seen an Aurora Vis? Okay, not what I want right now. Move. Oh, Vis, I seem to recall saying you, you saying you wanted a washing machine. 
Girl, what? <laughs> Hooray, I happened to see some in the store, so I bought one for you. Wow. Wow, Gladys. See, this is why Gladys is my girl. She went out and bought me a whole ass washing machine. A washing machine. Damn. Damn, Gladys. You're a real one for that. I can't even lie. A whole ass washing machine? You know how expensive those are in this economy? Surprised to see me fishing? Hey, you can sell fish for bells and bells will buy you a lot of fun things. Okay, girl. <laughs> Come on, fishies. Mama needs a new pair of designer boots. That's so real she is so real for that so fucking real anyways uh, i have to go talk to tom nook now because yeah i time traveled later in the day so that we can actually do this because we got to figure out the next home loan hi welcome welcome oh my goodness it's this so good to see you hmm your home has now been built, yes? What do you think? Your house is now the stuff of dreams, hmm? And now the numbers. I deducted your down payment, leaving it a grand total of 39800 Oh my god, right. I forgot it's so cheap. I thought, wait, it's only 39000 bro. Wait, that makes this shit so much. Oh my, I thought it was going to be 98000 I had it written down. It's 98 k and I was going to spend the day making 100,000 bells, but no, I only need to make 10 k more. Okay, okay, that makes it a lot easier. Um, and now, yeah, we're also a part of Happy Home Academy, which, you know, the whole approval rating thing. Um, yes, I guess it's not worth shopping at Nook's Cranny today. I need to find out how to make 10K. 10K, ooh. Can't sell any more fruit. That's a thing. That's annoying. I guess we could just spend the day doing some fishing. <laughs> That's probably good enough. No, let's actually figure out the town approval rating thing because we can get 10k easily. Um, do you know? No, nobody wants to like do requests for me. That's rude. All right, that's fine. I mean, to be fair, I have some things in my pockets that I can sell, including that washing machine. I fear that if I sell that washing machine, I could get a lot more money than I think, but no. What worst comes to worst, we can we can figure something else out. I mean, like we could shake trees and get a hundred bells. Ooh, meow coupons. I completely forgot about this. I don't know what I got this for, but I'll accept that. Actually, let me just see. What was it for, real quick? Oh, talking to your villagers. Fifty-seven. Ooh, okay, not bad. We're halfway there. Um, well, sell some stuff at the re Yeah, that's what I thought. Girl, I think we're gonna have to sell that washing machine that Gladys gave us. Such a shame, such a shame indeed, but it'll hit two birds with one stone because hopefully I will get, I don't think I'm gonna get 10,000 bells from that washing machine, but it will help us out with the town approval rating as well. I'm gonna grab some shells as well and like try and do some critter catching we actually haven't been down to the beach yet now that i think about it um yeah in this game as you can see the giant ass cliff and there's like slopes <laughs> um on like two sides of your island and this is the beach like a proper rundown of it it's kind of cute i actually low-key prefer the beach in this game than i do in other games you know because every other game the beach is like directly connected to, ooh, that's a big fish right there. It's directly connected to your town, you know? There's no like giant cliff dividing the two. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I had to focus for that. It's a sea, yeah. I had a feeling it was a sea bass. See, a bass. Um. Also, you may have noticed the critter catching thing. It actually shows you how big the fish are. Uh, that's very relevant in this game for like the bug off and the fishing tourneys. Cause in this game, size matters. I know I could just donate it to Blathers and help out the museum or whatever, but it's a fucking sea bass. Like you're, it is not hard to find those at all. I'm going to sell the cuckoo clock as well. I'm so sorry to Butch. I know Butch was just trying to be a good neighbor, but girl, I'm broke as hell and I need to pay off my house loan. And I think I'm just gonna, you know, like we don't have to tell him. He doesn't need to know that. 2,000 bells. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it's still, you know, good progress. Good progress indeed. But uh, yeah, I mean, let's be honest. I, I, I was sat here thinking it was gonna be more than it actually was though. So maybe I'm the clown. 
Oh, finally, finally, Jitters is pinging me. Why? I need an honest answer. Who's the strongest in town? Uh, okay, this is not a favor. This is him just being insecure. So, who do I think is the smartest, the strongest in town? I'm trying to get my approval rating to 100%, so I'm just gonna say Jitters. But the real answer is Monique. Haha, -ha, you think I'm the strongest? Flattery doesn't suit you, bud. I'm gonna push you in that pond. I mean, you're right, obviously. I can tell you put some thought into this before I even asked, Vis. Okay, that wasn't a favor, but um, yeah, he pinged me. Thank you for that, at least. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And just like that, we have enough to pay off our house now. All right, we're making progress. Yeah, I just kind of spent um some time, you know, catching bugs and shaking a bunch of trees for some petty cash and furniture to sell. So now we have enough to pay off our house loan. Editor me, be so fucking thankful that I'm actually grinding right now, you know? So that you don't have to have as much footage to edit through for the video. Thank you, and you're welcome. Monique, please, please, I'm willing to do anything for you right now. Can you please let me do something? Have you ever heard of, I, I don't care, I don't care. Girl, you already talked about that, Butch. I, you already had me do a favor for you, but like, can I do another one for you? Yawn. I think my body's getting lazy because we don't have any events planned anytime soon, but I should be happy I have some time for myself. I'm not reading this. I need y'all to do, let me do favors for you. Monique, talk to me again. What are you even doing over here with that thing? The water is that way. Mama, we are standing right in front of the river, first of all. And second of all, you have a fishing rod too. Who are you to judge? Who are you to judge? If you're gonna be shady, can you at least do it correctly? There's a rumor going around that you're the freshman mayor. As far as rumors go, that's not as half bad. I've certainly been called worse. Yeah, in this game, they used to gossip and talk shit about you. Uh, rumors would spread depending on like your gameplay style and stuff. So usually the first one is freshman mayor because you know, you just moved in. But like there could be other versions as well. Um, Fun fact. I've been feeling kind of lazy lately. Maybe redecorating my house will get my blood pumping. I think I need to swap out my old picnic table for a piece that's similar but different. If you come across anything that's the same size. Okay, the picnic table in New Leaf, hold on. Four spaces, yeah, it's a big item, you fucking bitch. He, now I have to get a four spaced item to replace it with. Oh, I've never actually seen Jitters' house before. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just come up here real quick, pay off my house loan, um, so that I, I can see like how much money I have left. Ooh, Gladys is up here. Hi, girl. Oh, hi, Vis. What a coincidence meeting you here. Um, I meet a lot of you faces when walking around town like yours. Okay, thanks for that. Okay. Oh, no, wait, I'm not supposed to go in here. I have to do it from the post office. Finally, I get a favor from somebody, by the way, and it happens to be like super duper annoying. I have to get a big item. A big fucking table like item. I don't have any at the moment in my possession. Cause even all the items that I found, um, they were small. They were all small. They were all like one space, like a toilet and a wardrobe. I think that's all I found. So that's not enough to replace a picnic table. Yes, cause in this game, by the way, when they ask for new furniture, uh, they tell you what specific furniture they're gonna replace. And you actually have to get something that's of the same size. Wait, I gotta do that again for... <laughs> I'm trying not to use my cursor mouse in the actual B-roll because I'm trying to make it look clean and like I'm actually playing this on a 3DS. Like no shade for playing, you know, with an emulator. It's just like, I'm trying to get the authentic experience. So that's the main reason why. Anyways, my house loan is paid off. So now we're gonna head back to Tom Nook and talk about expanding my house once again. Hi, sir. Hi, fatty. Oop. I didn't say that, whoa. Thanks so much for paying your home loan in full. Very good, yes, yes. I always had faith that you would fulfill the terms of our little agreement, Vis. Now then, does your home not seem a bit teensy bit, what? Does your home not seem a teensy bit on the wee side? Yes, yes, I have to say I do feel a slightly larger home would better suit you, wouldn't it? More room for furniture, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now we have to talk to him again so we can actually upgrade our house. Expand my damn house already. A loan of 98,000. Okay, so it's the third loan that's 98K. I was close. I was close, I just forgot. Because you know, I'm so destroyed by New Horizons and the New Horizons bell economy. 
isn't 98k the second home loan in new horizons that's why like i said inflation it even got to animal crossing isn't that so sad all right so now our mission for the rest of the video is to find a big item that we can give to jitters i mean like <laughs> i don't think timmy oh they do oh my god Whatever Nook Twin you are, thank you so much. There's a buffet table, a lazy Susan table, and I can't afford it. Oh, I just underneath. We need to make 200 bells quick. That's actually pretty easy, so it won't be the end of the world. I have a horse mackerel in my possession. Lazy Susan table is finally purchased. And another fun little thing for people who don't know, this is something that I used to love doing as a kid but see that sold out sign on the floor you're actually able to walk through it in this game and um <laughs> if you push timmy or tommy into the sold out sign uh they get stuck <laughs> and they don't move they just stand there so you're able to just walk around freely through your nook's cranny without timmy and tommy being right behind you it's so much easier to shoplift that way pro tip <laughs> He's just standing in there. He doesn't even care. Anyways, I just wanted to do the fortune cookie thing real quick. Uh, we're getting us another fortune. This one reads, never count your Yoshis before they hatch. Plans often change. So, so true. Ah, congratulations. The prize for number 29 is a great Yoshi's egg. Ooh, the Yoshi egg. That's another fun item. It's actually in New Horizons. So, um... Yeah, nothing too crazy with that one. A lot of, I preferred the Nintendo items in this game though. They're so much more diverse because in New Horizons, they only gave us the Mario items and that's it. <laughs> Whereas in this game, there ha they had Mario items, obviously. They had Legends of Zelda items. They had Splatoon items. They had Nintendogs items as we saw. They had 3DS and Wii U's in the game that you were able to get. I think they had Pikmin items as well. Pikmin, like the mask specifically. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else did they have? What else did they have? I think they had Kirby items, but I could be wrong about that one. I don't remember. I thought they were gonna bring them back in New Horizons slowly. Like my big theory was for Tears of the Kingdom, we were gonna get Legends of Zelda stuff and Splatoon 3, we were gonna get the Splatoon stuff. And they never did that even though it would have just made perfect sense. Anyways, I have a bit of cash left, so I figured we could do some clothes shopping real quick, get myself a brand new look if there's anything cute. And also I'm mainly just here because I want to chat with Sable. Ooh, a dress. Oh my God, wait, I can finally show this. Okay, wait. <laughs> so as you can see, my character is a boy and I'm about to shop for a dress. Oh, are you shopping for a present? Well, I see you eyeing the alpinist dress there. Isn't the iconic look rather nice? Um, can I try it on first? <laughs> oh, well, I guess it's okay to be a bit more on the adventurous side sometimes. That item of 640 bells, sound good? No, I'm just being silly with you, girl. <laughs> She's like low-key judging me, though. Low-key, she hates me for that. Mabel in her homophobic era. Oop. In her queerphobic era, let's be honest. Um, We got some Bayonetta glasses for sale, but they're not black, so I'm not really feeling them. There's actually really nothing at the store that I, like, desperately want right now, so... I think I'm just gonna stick to getting my clothes for free from other villagers. By the way, I haven't actually shown off. Look at this side of the shopping district. It's on either side, depending where your museum is. Ugh, this is so pretty. Look at the cliffs in the background and like the bushes up there. This area is definitely very, very pretty. Where is Jitters? I need to give him this fucking table that I spent like three years getting just so that I could get his approval so that I can actually place down a street lamp wherever I want. Where is Jitters? We are now on the hunt for Jitters. Uh, oh, here he is. Hi. How about this? He better approve. Which one is it? The Lazy Susan table? I swear to God, if he says no to this, I'm actually gonna rage quit. Wow, a Lazy Susan table, it's perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Jitters, for not being a disappointment today. Nice, I'm putting this in place as soon as I get home. Oh, yeah, reward time. Here. Ooh, and I'm getting more furniture. That's cute. A coat hanger. Interesting. Interesting indeed. 
Uh, fun little detail. If you give them the item while they're home, they'll replace the item in front of you. Like the game will black out and then fade back in and the item will be replaced and they'll just give you the item that they replaced as a reward instead. That's always a silly little detail that I enjoyed. Um, just thought I'd share. So I'd really like to give you a caveman tank, Vis. Um, didn't I just say I love getting free clothes for my villagers? Monique is so real for that. She's so real for that. Thank you. Thank you for giving it to me in return. Here, I found something that- Oh, and she's giving me another t-shirt. Why is Miss Girl giving me all her clothes right now? <laughs> what? Okay, thank you, Monique. You are so kind. You're like low-key bestie for that. I can't even lie. How's it going, Vis? This might seem random, but what do you think of Gladys? See, I feel like I barely know her at all. And Nooktit is such a small place. We shouldn't be strangers. We should all get together and share a giant serving of panna cotta or something. Oh. I thought she was going to get a gift to give to Gladys. Monique, please. Please be useful for once. Also, here's another balloon. I keep, I know like I've been kind of avoiding the balloons because I don't have the slingshot yet. You don't get that until the second Nook's Cranny upgrade, but um, this is how they looked like in the older games. So <laughs> interesting as a whole. That's the one that my tattoo is based off, by the way, the new leaf present, in case anybody was wondering. Hey, this, you've been over so much today. It's almost like we're roommates. Don't drag me right now when I'm here to get your approval. I was planning to go get jitters and bring him over to my house, but I'm too busy. If you have time, could you please go fetch him for me within the next hour? In the meantime, I'll be getting things ready here. Hell yeah, finally, we have another request from a villager. This is an interesting request that I think was only available in New Leaf. Um, they'll tell you to go find a villager and bring them back to their house. I'm surprised that this one wasn't in New Horizons. It would have worked perfectly in that game because the villagers in that game are just more, you know, fleshed out graphics wise. Um, so Jitters, I, he wasn't by his house, so he's probably up here, right? Yeah, the villager they asked, oh, here he is. The villager they asked, they're always gonna be in town. They won't be anywhere else. So I came to get you, Jitters. What? Gladys wants me. Yeah, Gladys totally wants you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Might as well go see what's up. All right, let's do this. And this is cute. Look at this. They actually follow you. <laughs> this is fun. Oh my God. I love this feature in New Leaf though, because the villagers actually follow you and it's so cute. And again, if it was in New Horizons, um, for all you Instagram girlies, like you can actually like take photos of your villagers following you and walking around town with you. That would have been so adorable. This is something that I used to love doing. Look at us just walking around Gladys's house like it's nothing. All right, let's actually head inside though. So we can see what the tea all about, what the tea is. Ooh, and look at her. She's right at the door, ready to go. Miss Gladys is staring us down. Here we go. Oh good, I had a feeling you'd make it back soon. What's going on, Gladys? Sorry to drag you over here. I've been practicing my bug stalking technique and need some pointers. Could you help me, Jitters? Catching bugs? I'm awesome at doing that. So first you sneak up on them, approach quietly with your net held ready, and when you're about three feet away, you can run at them screaming and waving your net around. Well, this, thanks for coming to get me. I'll see you both around town, berserk. Yeah, <laughs> they literally just come and have like one conversation. Okay, this, I know you must be busy, but don't go running off yet. I have something for you. I'd like you to have my ranch dresser as a thank you gift. A ranch dresser? They made a dresser out of ranch? That must smell rank. All right. Thank you, Gladys, though, for giving us another request. Um, I was at 60% before and helping out residents gives you 3% per request. So now we're probably at 63. So we still have a long way to go. Eric is over here wearing that. Um, do you have anything you'd like to say? <laughs> Please give me a request. You can always tell the season by what bugs are around. Right now, it's centipede season. Since we're buddies, would you mind catching one for me? I'd really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. You see Eric coming through with the requests once again. And this one's somewhat easy. Um, we saw catching centipedes in the last part. You just hit rocks. Uh, that's a pill bug. I'll catch it anyways. Because I can... Oh. 
Cause I can, oh. Cause I can sell it for some coins. Let's hope finding a centipede. I forgot you can sit on rocks in this game. Oh my God, right. <coughs> You can sit on rocks in New Leaf. They added that in the Welcome Amiibo update. Like, why is this a feature in the game? I don't know, but I appreciate it anyways. This is so adorable. And then they got rid of it for whatever reason. <laughs> all right, we gotta spend some time right now hitting all the damn rocks. Oh, okay, Butch. Shake that tree, yes. I don't think we can do two requests at once, but I'll talk to Butch anyways and see if he's willing to do something. I actually have a present I'd like to give to Jitters, but I don't think I can quite do it myself. Um, okay, so you can do more than one request at once. I didn't know that. Again, just like the requests in general, um, I know a lot of people used to complain about them, <laughs> myself included, like especially after the early stages of the game. Like it, it gets annoying. It gets so annoying when you want to like just chat with your villagers and the only thing they ask for is just things um, instead of like actual conversations. But, you know, considering that it is a video game, it's actual gameplay. I think now that is especially not a thing in the game anymore. It makes me miss it a lot more. So that's that. Jitters, we have a gift from Butch for you. Yeah, I'm going to tear right into this. It's a shirt, a tan puffy vest. This is gonna go on my bod right now. Ooh, that's actually not ugly. Wait, I like that. Super buff. It literally makes him look buff. <laughs> like those look like abs. I kind of live for that. Okay. Okay, Butch. Butch has good taste. Who could have thought? You can have a soccer tee. It's the least I can do. Um, sorry if the sleeves and the chest are a bit Bulgy. Yeah, is that not just the shirt that he was wearing? Okay, um, and considering that he's an athlete and loves to work out. Uh, I think I would feel a lot safer if I just threw it out and go home and immediately take a proper shower <laughs> just to like make sure I don't get some kind of venereal disease. Where's Butch? Uh, yeah, we actually have to talk to Butch to complete the request. It doesn't just end. Hey, this. So you wanted to talk to me? I delivered it. Oh man, thanks for making that critical delivery to Jitters. So how did Jitters respond about that? Really? So Jitters tried it on? My guess was totally right as it always is. Now we got to find a centipede. Because Eric requested a centipede, that means they have to be available right now. So I'm really about to just spend like the next couple of minutes hitting rocks, aren't I? <laughs> oh my gosh, what riveting gameplay. Thank God I'm yapping as I do this. Where are my freaking rocks anyways? Actually, let's talk to Jitters and see if he's willing to give me another request, even though we already just did one for him. I've patrolled all over this town, but I haven't seen much of your place. I think maybe I should patrol near you and check it out. I want you to feel safe and secure. Okay, Mr. Jitter, not him flirting. That's the stuff. That's what I want to hear. Let's set it to- Ah, oh, fuck. I can't do the schedule thing. I'm free after 4.30. I mean, like, we could do it at 4.30 then. Okay, what time is it currently? It's 3.55, so... <laughs> I have to, uh, I just time traveled because girl, I'm not, I, I, I don't feel like waiting all day. Let's be honest. All right. It is currently 4.30. So I guess we're just going to sit here and wait for Jitters to show up. Okay. This, I'm here, dude. Sometimes they actually don't show up. Fun fact, I've had that happen before. My mind is racing. I'm thinking of all the reps and sets we could do here. Um, yeah, come into my humble abode. This is fun, isn't it? <laughs> don't go out of your way for me. I don't need any tea. Yeah, I don't really have any gossip for you, babe. Sorry. Also, while I'm here, I'm gonna quickly empty out my pockets. Uh, let's just put all these items in here. I don't feel like doing any redecorating right now anyways, because, um, as you can see, I have, like, barely any space in my freaking house. 
All right, hi, let's chat. Hold on a second here. These walls are totally bare. If you're having trouble reading, reaching a certain height, I can totally help you, you know, because he can fly. Oh my God, that's so true. Jitters, you're so true for that. Achoo. How, you're gonna come into my home and spread germs. You're not even gonna cover your mouth. You're just gonna sneeze on my face. Who the fuck raised you? Who raised you? Uh oh, something may have gone flop. Nasty, nasty, nasty man. Uh uh, you need to leave. You need to leave right this second. How fucking dare you? Who raised you? Who raised you? Dogs, dogs, both my dogs, Chihuahua, other dog, attack him right now. Attack him right now. This man right here. Are you sleeping okay? You must fall out of that common bed all the time. Don't tell me what to do. Um, excuse me. It seems like you might be hosting guests right now. I'm actually a bit shy and I'm worried that this could get awkward. Would you mind trying again after your guests have left? <laughs> Just felt like sharing that real quick because that's pretty cute. How about we turn your place into a gym? Um, yeah, that is a bit much jitters, don't you freaking think? Damn, the disrespect that came from him. Also, earlier I said that we have two guys in that on the town and three girls. I knew that it was the other way around. And I got a smug villager. Interesting. I just felt like sharing that right now because that's me being dumb. Anyways, Jitters left, finally. No more sharing germs from him. So that's great. The things I do to get the approval of my villagers so that they would validate me and I can actually start doing some decorating on the island. Like, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, we still need to find the freaking centipede for Eric. Um, hi, Jeremy, how's it going? Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Kind of a random question, but if you had a million bells, what would you do with it? Save it, go shopping, eat delicious food, donate it, or repay loans. In real life, I would definitely... I do a combination of saving, repaying, and donating. Cause girl, a million bells, I don't need all that money. Um, but I think the most important thing I would be doing is definitely saving that money. Cause I'm very scared when it comes to money, I'm losing it. So, you know, most of that shit will go into my bank account immediately. Um, yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, where the fuck? Is the house, is the centipede. Why am I not getting the centipede? Eric, Eric, once again, trying to make my life difficult when it doesn't need to be. Like, I finally get a request from a villager and it happens to be one of the most annoying, tedious ones. Like, I'm hitting these rocks, hitting them, hitting these rocks, hit the, hit the fucking rock. Oh, thank you, finally, fine. You see, yapping and complaining always gets the job done. That's why I do it. Me complaining and yapping. Finally got the centipede. Oh, I didn't catch one yet. Oh. Oh, that's not. Uh-oh. Bladders, if you're watching, click off right now. Because this bug, unfortunately, is not. Actually, I think he would be thankful for that. Now that I think about it. Because it's bladders. He hates, he hates bugs. And I brought you a bug. A centipede. God knows what you're going to do with it. I hate centipedes, fun fact. Um, so, like, sure. And he is gonna give me another shirt. I'm getting so many clothing items today. A team, oh, Eric, Eric coming through. That's one of my favorite shirts in the game. Oh, I'm wearing that for the rest of the video. Uh, this is what the default Animal Crossing character wears. I think in Mario Kart. Um, villager boy, he wears that shirt. I don't know why it's one of my favorite shirts in the games. I just really like it. So I'm gonna wear it for like the rest of the video if y'all don't mind. Cause like I said, I love it. It also goes with my outfit. Isabel, development permit. Tell me, are we at 100% approval rating yet? So, oh my God, we're so close. We're so close, 92, 92. I mean, I know I can, sell trash to retail that's another thing but that only gives you one percent and it's actually like you know finding trash in the game is rare it's not as rare like it's actually a lot more common than you think but i really don't want to spend some time doing that 
Ah, uh, 92% though. That is so close. So close, like 8%. I could just do like three more requests for villagers. I could also like do some trash hunting as well, Gladys. Gladys girl. Oh, she's pinging me. Is she pinging me for a reason? I need to talk to you, Stretch. Rather than standing around here, why don't we go hang out at my house? My place isn't anything special, but I'd love to have you over. Yeah, can we go? Can we go right now, please? Let's get going. Thank you. Okay, I thought she was going to set a time. Also, again, look, she's following me around. That's so adorable. I hope it's not too cluttered. I should have tidied up before having company over. No, girl, your place is fine. Don't worry. I'm curious. What do you think of the inside of my house? It's lovely. It is. Love the concept down. Do you like something in particular? I might consider giving it to you. I think this is a feature in New Horizons as well. You're able to like buy furniture from them. Um, I'm, I'm probably just gonna buy this t-shirt because why the fuck is this even in here? A Dawn tee? Dawn? Oh my God, Miss Dawn. <laughs> not the Dawn mention. Yeah, I'm gonna take this because it does not go with the rest of your house. Like, it's cute. I get the concept, you know, her little sewing corner, but like, you could have stitched a t-shirt that was more aesthetically pleasing instead. All right, we bought something so we can leave now. That's what I usually do. <laughs> You're going home already? Well, I'm curious what you think of my place. It's great. It's definitely great. You really think so? I was actually thinking it could use a lot of improvement, so I'm happy to hear you say that. Now that you've motivated me, I'll work extra hard to make sure this place is wonderful. Come by again sometimes. This was so much fun. No problem, Gladys. Gladys, like I said, is one of my, like, liked villagers in the game. Like, I really like her. Sar, I'm happy that I have her in my new leaf town. Um, yeah, <laughs> she comes back out. That's cute. Okay. I think if I just do, like, one or two more requests, we might get enough for town approval rating. Jitters, would you like me to do something else for you? Are you stalking me, bro? What do you mean you're not my bro, bro? Um, yeah, we're not brothers. What are you on about? Whoa, those cows of yours are really shaping up. You've been training hard, haven't you? You deserve a reward. I'm thinking a picnic table. Um, that's the picnic table that he... <laughs> Okay, sure. That's the picnic table that I helped him replace with the lazy Susan. And now he's just giving it to me for free. I mean, sure. Why not? Like, I'll accept that. No problem. Butch. Where? Hello? Hi? Oh, don't hit him with your net. You're trying to get these people to like you. You're everywhere. Did you need something? Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? You're into the fine art of the pill bug, too. I've been on the hunt for so long. I can't believe I'm seeing this. It's my secret passion? No judgment here, babes. But, um, uh, okay. Yeah, we'll trade for a t-shirt. The good old days of bartering where you just traded items instead of actual cash. Take us back. Honestly, I, I, I actually think it would be fun to go back, honestly, to the bartering days. What if we as a society just did that? Like, what if we all just decided to start bartering again instead of paying cash for things? Like, what if I just, like, traded, I don't know, an apple <laughs> for, like, a house or something? I know bartering is a lot more complex than that. Let me just have this joke, please. All right, I did one more request. Um, I think that might be enough, actually. Please let it be enough because I would love, love to finally get to approval rating. I've only been recording for like two hours, but to be fair, two hours in New Leaf is a long time. This is not a game that you're supposed to play for multiple hours a day. It's a game that you just like to check in on. Let's just see real quick. You already own a house and wait a Exactly. According to a recent citizen survey, your approval rating is 100%. Wow. Mayor Viss, you've done it. I'll submit your application for the town development permit right away. The approval process will take one day at the very least, but it could take up to a few days. If you do this the day before a holiday, you'd, wait, you'd have to wait until the holiday's done. Um, that's what she means by that. But yes, with that, though, that means... Uh, tomorrow on day three, we can officially start our work as a mayor and also our house has been upgraded once again, which unlocks a super fun thing, which if you saw the video, you already know that it's Tortimer's Island, so I don't need to like keep it a secret, but, um, in case you didn't, sorry for the spoiler. <laughs> this game is like over 10 years old though. So like, how are we still avoiding? Why are we still avoiding spoilers for it? I don't know. Maybe you're just that type of person. Who am I to judge? Anyways, real quick, before we end off this video, um, 
This one's gonna be very long, by the way. Sorry for that in advance. But yes, I'm just coming into Red's tent real quick for some B-roll. Um, but yeah, I figured I could show it off to you. I don't have enough bells to buy a painting, by the way. So I know Red is already gonna hate me. Um, this is Red's gallery in this game, unlike in New Horizons, where he just kind of comes and like hides in the back. Um, he's just, oh my god, I almost spilled my coffee everywhere. I got scared for a second. My laptop's on the table. Can't go through that again. Yeah, in this game, he's just kind of here. I actually prefer it in New Horizons, like, because in this game, what's so annoying is that, um, you have no idea if the painting's fake until you buy it and donate it to Blathers. Blathers will be the one to tell you if it's fake or not. So, that's that. Um, this is B-roll. We're just gonna leave. Fuck you, Red. <laughs> Thanks, cuz. Like, he hates me. The fact that I just walked in and immediately walked out without spending bells, he hates me for that. He definitely hates me for that. But yeah, that's the end of day two. Um, all you really need to do is the town approval rating. If you're able to upgrade your house as well, though, that's very good. Very good for the long run. But that's that. And um, see y'all on day three.